Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to a series called Zeta Codeine by Junes Media. Now, the playlist here says, a series of tapes collected by a reporter after a deadly drug epidemic, which turns people into mindless zombies. So the whole premise of this series is that there's this drug that's been introduced into America, I'm guessing, and it's turned people into zombies. Th that just sounds like fentanyl slash meth to me but i guess this is like times 10 i'm not sure we're gonna find out so yeah if you guys do enjoy this go check out june's media go subscribe like the video if you enjoy this reaction video leave a like rate and subscribe as this is the majority of my content analog horror reactions and occasional spooky game let's just jump straight into this so this is the first video zeta codeine ground zero analog horror let's just jump straight into this here we go Okay, this is auto-generated. I don't want that. Okay, subtitles would have been helpful, though. The base has been... Oh. The following was filmed at the heights of Zeta Codeine lockdown. Oh, good lord. This just looks like downtown in the city that I live in. Oh. Okay, so that was the introduction to this whole thing. There, uh, there's some kind of infestation of some kind that are turning people into zombies by the looks of things. Let's just jump straight in. This is the Zetacodine public service announcement. Second video. A new drug, A has, new been... drug has been okay. circulating throughout town. Zetacodine, also known as Z, is a new compound of xylazine and other chemicals which gets users addicted Okay, also known as... Very easily. Okay. Z has many adverse physical oh effects. Oh my god. You turned her into a Little Nightmares character. Or like a sex doll that's been thrown into a water. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> a Zeta Codeine addict before and after their heavy <clears throat> usage. Z causes intense delirium. Prolonged usage destroys the user's brain, returning them to a primal, unpredictable, and violent state. Interesting, okay. If you suspect that someone is under the effects of Z, do not approach. Right, got you. Authorities and escape the scene. Um, so, so I'm guessing, like, Z is almost like zombie. It's Zeta, obviously. Codeine is like a relaxant right? It's a muscle relaxer or whatever. L loads of people drink it with, they, they, they have it with like, I don't know, lean. And what was it called, guys? I don't know. I'm not down with the drug dealers. Eyes. Pale and droopy skin, rotting wounds, sores and boils. Oh my God. Interaction, slow movement or limping, sickly appearance, missing teeth and aggression. If you what the no hell is going on? Codeine, do not attempt to save them. It is already too late. late they look like... Late, late. I'm sorry, but they look like... Like, meth addicts. That's basically what meth does to people. A okay. citywide lockdown has been placed following the Zeta Codeine epidemic. The lockdown will start on October 26th, 1987. During okay. <laughs> but what year is it now? <laughs> Currently, it's 1985. Down. Military forces will be sent into the city to clear it of the addicts. Do okay. Lockdown. Do not exit your lockdown. Clear it of the Stay addicts. No matter what, until the lockdown has ended. Right. Up to the lockdown, stock up on vital necessities like food and water. Lock and board all entrances to the home with plywood or other hard objects. Mm -hmm. Never go outside. Never open your door, no matter how frantic they sound. Make right. No noise. They will hear you. If you end up in contact with one of them, do not attempt persuasion. 
their humanity is gone in their current state. Okay, so that in that current state, the United States Army will inhabit the city to attempt an extermination of the pests. The pests. Please do not enter their attempt. This message will now repeat. Wow. This message has been brought to you by the Center of Drug Administration. Consumer protection. Oh, here's the thing. What, like, who, who was it that freaking brought this drug out? Was it Big Pharma? Is it, was it like Resident Evil, where they release the T virus or whatever it's called, and they try and like create the the vaccine for it? So they create the problem, and it's like, oh, then once it's spread enough, they go, oh, we, but we've got the, uh, we've got the cure here, so it's all good. Just take the cure, and thank you. That will be five billion dollars, please. But then in Resident Evil, it turned out it didn't work. I think that's how the story goes. Like the, the vaccine didn't work or it just turned them even worse. Okay, here's the next video. It's called Zeta Codeine Zeta Way. <laughs> Analog horror. Okay. Have you been bitten by an addict of Zeta Codeine? No. Would you like to prepare in case you encounter an addict? Uh, I guess so, yeah. yeah. Then look no further than to Zeta Way nasal spray. The all-in-one package for protecting yourself from Zeta Codeine addiction. What? Just don't take the stuff. I don't understand. What does smelling it like make you want want it even more? Does does Zeta Codeine have a smell to it? If you find Hang on, what does it say? Purifies the population of the parasites living among us. Package for protecting said among yourself us. from Zeta Codeine addiction. Okay. If you find yourself bitten by an addict, follow the directions on the box and you'll be better before you know it. Oh, okay, so this is the if they've been bitten, they take it then. I thought you meant like they just take it to avoid the thing. Use within two hours of the initial bite. After that, it's too late. Late, 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 late. Okay, and what's the price for this thing? On one already addicted to Zeta Codeine. If one already has a tolerance to the substance, Zeta Way will kill them. Okay. I really don't. Okay. Purify your genes today with Zeta Way, found in drugstores near you. Yeah, for a cheap price of $800. Brilliant stuff. So, if you're addicted to Zeta Codeine, Zeta Way doesn't work on you. But if you're not addicted to Zeta Codeine, does this mean that people who are addicted to Zeta Codeine, who bite you, put Zeta Codeine inside you? So it's basically like a zombie virus. Okay, here's the next one. Zeta Codeine Broadcast Analog Horror. is not a drill. Shows a picture of a drill. The city has been placed under lockdown following the Zeta Codeine drug epidemic. Okay. Do not leave your house. U.S. Army forces will occupy the streets to attempt an extermination. Violators will be met with force. Addicts of Zeta Codeine are dangerous. Do not attempt altercation. The lockdown will continue until further notice. I'm sorry, but with stuff like this, my conspiracy brain always comes out. Who invented this drug? Because it is a drug, it's not a virus, it's an actual drug that you take. Who invented that drug? And like I said before, it's probably the same people who are making the cure for that drug. It just, alarm bells ringing. And then maybe the, the whole thing is a population call. That, you know, big conspiracy theories like the, the New World Order and stuff like to believe that culling of the world's population is a big thing that they do and in terms of this i would say that's probably true i don't know what i'm saying okay i'm going a little bit crazy i'm 30 years old and um my mind's turned to mush let's continue this message will now repeat right okay so we've heard this like in the last three videos though or two videos whatever this that the military is taken over Okay, here's Zeta Codeine Jack Holiday investigation. Jack Holiday, I'm an independent reporter looking into the Zeta Codeine epidemic. Okay. Here's my findings. Right, okay. Zeta Codeine has plagued the streets for its ability to spread so quickly. It has very dangerous side effects like aggression. I, I love, I, I'm sorry, I don't know, I need to add this in. I'm sorry, I know you guys don't like me yapping, but I like the sound of the, the slide, because that's a slideshow thing, like when you click it and it's like a projector and it goes to the next slide. I love the fact that you're meant to show a picture, but he just shows his script. 
<laughs> Usually when you like click something, you talk over it and you're showing people what you're talking about. But this guy's just showing the script that he wrote. You're so proud of it. You just see little bits scribbled out. Spelling all wrong. Here we go. Uh. Oh, oh, count me out. How no. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Oh. As a Jew on the user's teeth. This allows the drug to enter someone's system if they are bitten by a user. Ah, interesting. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. This fact, as well as the high poverty rate in the city, has led to the drug rapidly spreading throughout the streets. Wait, why does the poverty rate have anything to do with it? In the past two weeks leading up to the lockdown, approximately 1,200 Zeta codeine related attacks were reported. Hospitals were full of victims. Okay, jeez. This is what the effects of a bite from a user look like. What? What What are we looking at there? Go back. Is that... Oh, that's someone's arm. This is someone's arm right here. And this is a leg? Because is that a shoe? Is that a, a Adidas? Adidas? However you want to say that. A product known as Zetaway began being produced by the CDA, which reduced withdrawal symptoms of those bitten by addicts. Okay. However... It killed heavy addicts of Zeta Cody. It sounds like a call to me. Victims were being cured and addicts were dying left and right. But there were too many. A citywide lockdown was the only solution. That's crazy if you think about it. That's one way of getting rid of all like the the drug the drug users of the city. You you dish out something that will help people who aren't on the actual drug itself, but it will kill the people who are on the drug. I'm telling you, this is a cool right here, guys. How did the Zeta coding epidemic spread so fast? I believe the CDA are the ones behind it. Yeah, there we go. Before the epidemic started, the CDA conveniently lost a massive shipment of xylazine nearby the city. Xylazine. When asked to speak on this lost shipment, CEO of the CDA... It's like David Brent. ...refused comment. Tomorrow, I will break lockdown and investigate what is really going on myself. Oh, good luck, man. You might get shot. If you are viewing this, I am either no longer alive, or I was right. But which one is it? Are you alive? Is there anyone out there? Okay, wow. There we go. <clears throat> so there was a shipment of a new compound of xylazine and other chemicals. Okay, so that's what it is. What's xylazine? <clears throat> Still isn't clear about... This is called uh, Zetacodine Share. Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. What, fried egg? <laughs> Hiya, my brain's pretty tasty. Jeez. What is this music? This is like some hold music when you're like waiting to be seen at a dentist or something. Stage one, before Zeta Codeine. There he is. There's the boy. Stage two, stumbler, aggression, lowered coordination, minor confusion and delirium. Okay. Oh dear, he's got some like warts on his face. Stage three, bite. Peak aggression. Mind and personality are gone. Tissue rules. Regression to primal instincts. Oh my god, he looks like freaking that dude. Daniel, what's his name? Stage four, forgotten. <clears throat> this is your brain on Zeta Cody. My goodness. Okay. It's not trendy. It's deadly. I don't know what this means. You could be showing me anything right now. What is this? You could explain what parts of the brain here are lighting up. It's not trendy. It's deadly. Brought to you by the share program. Why would you take Zetacodine? Like it just seems like nothing but negative. Is that, is that like a high involved at all? Do you feel good in any way at all? Because right now it just seems, let's turn myself into a zombie. Okay. This next video is called Zetacodine Jack Holiday Tapes. So this is the reporter again. I'm Jack Holiday. I fulfilled Hello. my promise and left my house to see what's going on outside. Okay. There's nobody out here.
The city is riddled with Zeta Codian victims. I thought they were wiping them out. God, it, it's, he's got that Metal Gear Solid head bob when he, every time he talks. Oh wow, okay. Guy's just sunbathing. There's no military presence anywhere. It's almost like they just left us to die. Oh damn, look at that. That looks like, um... Is it Kiev? No, not Kiev. Pripyat? What's it called? In in Ukraine, where Chernobyl is. They said everything would return to normal. It's been four months and I'm almost out of food. The military is nowhere to be found. Right. So... Is it just this one area? I know they're behind it. I just need proof, damn it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they just look the like they're on meth. I need to. Just one more time so I can prove the CDA started this damn plague. How are you going to prove that? You're going to have to go to their headquarters. God, that buzzing sound is so annoying. <laughs> Guys, just sleepwalking. Oh dear. What's going on? Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting on the train tracks. It's not a good idea. Is Jack Holiday dead? Did Jack Holiday die? Let's find out, guys. <laughs> this is Zetacodine found footage analog horror. The following is a recording found on the dead body of a dead US army soldier. Um, why, why did I say dead body of a dead US? On the body of a dead US army soldier. Shortly after it was taken, the army retreated. What are we looking at right now? I'm so confused. So what, the, the military couldn't kill a bunch of crackheads? This looks like it was taken straight from a zombie film. I think it might have been. If not, then this is impressive. Oh my god, did he just run off with the body? What was that? Okay, what? Well, hang on. So, let's just let's just recap here. Zetacodine is in the system from a shipment that went missing, right? It turns people like just delirious, clueless, uh, aggressive, turns them into biters. They have no personality. They're basically mindless zombies at this point. There is a cure for people who aren't Zetaway who aren't using the drug but it kills people using the drug the military got involved said on october was it 27th or some, some, something like that to 1987 or 1986 said uh, stay inside we're doing a, lo you know, it's a lockdown we're gonna take exterminate any loose people but like they got overran and they just left how shit is the military for that to happen. Do you know how much like equipment, do you know how much funding goes into the military a year? A lot of fucking money goes into the military a year. You're telling me you can't hold off a couple of crackheads. Inside. We need to lock our doors like the broadcast said. <sighs> All right. We should be stocked up for at least a All right. Month. We will get through this together. Together. No matter what happens, I love all of you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to start. Stop crying, little Timmy. At this rate, we'll be out of food in a couple weeks. Are you seriously?
seriously blaming me and the kids? I can't believe you right now. No, it's not like that. I just... Just what? This is ridiculous, Josh. I'm trying my hardest to make sure we don't go crazy, but it seems you already have. I just love you guys so much, and I can't afford to lose you. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm, what I'm laughing. It, just, it seems very, like, zombie, the dialogue. Why is that camera rolling? Are you filming this? He's filming the kitchen. Why are you still awake? And why in the hell are you still recording everything? I'm starting to worry about you. I have to stay up and keep watch to make sure you guys are safe. Keep watch? He's just there playing a video game. Josh, please come back to bed. I know everything is so crazy right now, but can you still try to pretend it's not? For me? It did, I'm going to be honest. I say voice acting is good. Like, for stuff like this. But you got to have the right voice for it or the right emotion like right now it just feels like it feels like you like you're in high school watching a play or you're you're in a drama class and you're watching like a group of people who don't want to do drama read off of a script and that's no no bashing at the voice if they're even voice actors because it, it sounds like they are if they're ai that's crazy but yeah it just needs it doesn't feel immersive or real enough to me it just feels like josh what are you doing come back to bed the kids are worried about you. What are you doing? And I, yeah, I, I'm not like taking shots or attacking anyone right now, but there's a certain tone to this and it's not being met, I think. Yes, honey, you're right. Yes, honey, sorry I've been you're right. You. Thank you. I love you. Is that AI what are you or doing? not? I'm gonna go out there and try to find some food. We maybe have a week left if we're lucky. I can't risk it and wait that long. Are you crazy? The broadcast said to stay inside. It's been months, can't you see? Nobody is coming to save us. We need to fend for ourselves. I'm sorry it had to be this way, honey. Whatever happens, I love you so much. Right. Okay. Okay, so he's taking the camera outside now. Where are the military blockades? Oh wow, okay. I guess nobody really is coming to save us. What is this? This is definitely in the 80s. This is definitely Pripyat, right? Is it Pripyat? No, it can't be. I don't know. Guys, the blockades are gone. Pack up. We're leaving the city to go somewhere safe. Okay. Nice. Where are they going? Did they really abandon us? What about all the people still in the city? I don't Raccoon know. City. At least we're safe. We're almost out of city limits. You're gonna hit a wall. No. What? No. Please, of all times, why now? <laughs> I can say. <laughs> There's someone there. Maybe he can help us. I like. Here's the thing, right? I love the premise of these analog horrors. Some of these that, that I watch, but it's just I feel like sometimes they're not executed that wow and that like that sometimes like i like the story the way that the story has progressed and that but like the execution of little elements within the story i had to believe like little like you know moments like this where you it's an actual person and this family and it just i don't know it throws me out it doesn't feel real it doesn't feel authentic maybe i'm just a snob i don't know i always respect people who you know what i'm gonna stop yapping i'll keep this at the end who am i to speak our car is broken That's just Greg. Sir? <laughs> Greg, what are you doing? Sir. You have no survival skills. Are you, are you serious? Josh, are you serious? Guys, this is why you need to take up fighting lessons. Boxing, Muay Thai. Uh, I'm not, I would say jujitsu. Gr grappling's great. But in this circumstances, you're probably best off not grappling with them. Because they'll just bite you. How can you be, call yourself a man and not be able to defend your family from just one man? Great. Well, your family just got torn apart there, Josh, because you were a fucking idiot. All right, here we go. Jack Holiday is back. Zeta Codeine, Jack Holiday findings. What did you find, Jack? 
well-known home of an infamous street gang in the area. Let's go around the back. Oh, I love, I love feeling my teeth dissolve, guys. It's amazing. What was that? This place is falling apart. Yeah, no, no crap. Oh my goodness! Just looks like a normal man. Just innocent men. We're just normal men. I like that touch. That's a pretty cool touch. They funneled it into the city. I knew it. They funneled the xylazine into the city. It all makes sense now. I finally have proof of their involvement. I just need to... Proof of their involvement is prescription medication. Are they... I mean, if... If they were trying to be sly about it, that's not really sly. They've got their, their logo on it and tell it, saying what the drug is there on a prescription bottle that you had to get from the doctors. CDA, man. Come on now. Center of Drug Administration. This one's called CDA Training Tape. Let me know what you guys Welcome think of CDA. it. Let me, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this down below. Give your honest opinion, okay? Don't be harsh, okay? Just give criticism. Fair criticism. I'll give mine at the end. But I always respect anybody who can create like an analog horror because this is, I like the premise, it's pretty cool. Family, on your first day, you may have some questions. Well, you've come to the right place. This tape will be split into three sections. Each will go over some basic, frequently asked questions. Okay, see, I, I can get behind the, the dull voice acting here because it's a training tape. It's meant to be dull. It's meant to be first, horrible. First, what is the CDA? Next, what will your job be like? And finally, what is the work environment like? Section huh. 1. The CDA stands for the Center oh, of Drug CDA. Administration. We Got are you. an organization responsible for the handling and shipment of narcotic substances. Oh god, my camera just stopped. The purpose of the CDA is to make sure these substances demolish are the middle class. Correctly. Oh no, hang on. Wait, what? That that was the higher class. Sub it wasn't even the middle class. The purpose of the CDA is to... Oh, no, no, no. It's the lower class. Gee, what's wrong with me? Okay, so they're getting rid of the lower... Demolish the lower class. Okay, I don't know why I thought that was the middle class, to be fair. But that makes more sense. Apologies, guys. Make sure these substances are shipped correctly and don't get into the wrong hands. We also manufacture over-the-counter items. Section 2, what is your job? As an office worker. Yeah, I was going to say, also, by the guy who edited this together did a terrible job at hiding what they're trying to do here. That's being subtle, and then there's like, oh, they'll never see this coming. They're going to have to translate this one for years. You will be assigned a personal cubicle space, which you can decorate to your liking. Brilliant. Your job will be to answer phone calls. I want to decorate it in blood and shit. Organize files and file records and data. Okay. We I'll like stop to see yapping, the work guys. environment as a funnel. Information and data shared to you will be expected to be shared to your co-workers. While answering phone calls, it is important to be, to be Never what mention Zetacodine. To be polite and not use language that would potentially scare or dissuade others. Remember, the customer is always right. Section 3, work environment. Right. At the CDA offices, we work tirelessly to maintain a healthy and happy work environment. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your office space will have a cafeteria to socialize and That's enjoy amazing. your meals, a conference room to discuss important topics, a common area to enjoy your breaks, and, of course, the cubicles. Uh, you know what? I mean, if you're happy doing this kind of job, then fair enough. But this is my idea of how. Keep in mind that whatever you do... Do not enter meeting room B. Why not? That should be everything. Oh, I wanted to go if you in there. Any more questions, make sure to consult your office manager for more information. We hope you okay. enjoy working with us. Well, now I want to go into that meeting room. What's in there? Sir Lockhart, the 
the first case of Zeta Codeine outside the city has been reported. Yeah. What? It was never meant to get that far. Why can't the damned army do their job? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, I, they were supposed to wipe that city off the map. Now it's... Oh, it's like Raccoon City, basically. They, they, they needed to just nuke the city. Far too late. Soon the pandemic will go nationwide. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Unless... Sir, I hope you're not suggesting... What else are we supposed to do? Zeta Way didn't work. The lockdown failed. There's no other way to stop this pandemic. We need to execute Plan C. Which is? Very well, sir. I hope you're right. Very well, sir. I hope you're right. I do... Is this is this AI voice acting? It sounds like it. Here we go, guys. We have came... Came. We have... Jeez. We have come to the... Pause. Stop. We have arrived at the finale. Zeta, Zeta Codeine, or Z I don't know how they were saying it. Z Zeta Way. Zeta Codeine. Okay, here we go. Action news. My wife left me. <laughs> what the fuck was that? reporter Jack Holliday, real name John Hollingsworth, was found right. dead oh. in his home from suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. It's just that delivery was ridiculous. I mean, not ridiculous, but just the way... You know what I mean? It was funny. Was found dead in his home from suicide. Just the pause. <laughs> the Zeta Codeine pandemic is spreading nationwide. Make sure to remain indoors and stay safe. Doctors and nurses at Baptist Medical Center in Brooklyn trying to cope with a strike. 400 service personnel, including the cooks, people in the linen rooms, and the therapists, have walked off their job. Right. Okay. This program is being interrupted for an emergency broadcast. Please stand by. Oh, yeah. This program is being interrupted for an emergency broadcast. Yeah. Please stand by. Okay, go ahead. Multiple nuclear strikes have been detected across the continental United States. Shit. Police will assist you to evacuate to your nearest fallout shelter. See, this is why all those billionaires guys are building underground bunkers. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. Look at look what he's building in, where is it, Hawaii? I don't know where it is. He's got like a freaking, he's literally got like a, a whole ass town underground, basically. You may come and find shelter. Phone lines and roads have been blocked for military use. What? Find shelter! Bro, just kill me at this point. I'm not gonna survive in a nuclear fallout. Or a post-apocalyptic world. They're breaking in! <laughs> Someone blocked the door! Right, well, that's the end of the US, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Alone at the edge of the universe, humming a tune. Okay, wow, that was uh, something else. Oh, by the way, guys, this video right here, I watched it on a live stream that I did. It's really, really good. Go check it out, guys. So, let me give my thoughts on that. I like the premise, the idea of it, but it's basically Resident Evil, in a nutshell. That That's what this is. It was Resident Evil. It's the same thing that happened to Raccoon City, I believe. They needed to nuke the city to stop the spread or whatever. They thought they had it under control, but they didn't have it under control, let's be honest. It was the drug that was causing it. I don't know why these people were taking the drug in the first place, unless it was labelled as something else. And like given to these people for something else maybe i don't know and then maybe that's how the cda were funneling it into the country under the guise of something else maybe it just makes no sense why you would just take that knowing that it's a freaking death trap basically it's going to turn you into a mindless zombie quite literally see I, I i liked it i liked the premise of you know i mean it didn't really make sense Maybe that needed to be explained more, like why people were taking it in the first place. I think that's how what it was. It was um, it was issued as medication for something else. I don't know. That's my impression of it. I don't know if that's the actual truth. 
the immersion it was hard to get immersed into it because it felt like i was ripped right out because of like the some of the voice acting and i know i say like voice acting is key but i mean like good and this sounds horrible but good voice acting i don't know if that was ai or not so i don't want to insult anybody you know uh, anyone who's doing anything creative i'll always tip my hat to tip my hat like i'm wearing a fedora you know what i mean anyone even the creator of this june's media who's got 420 subscribers by the way i couldn't make an analog like, i like i'm not creative enough to make my own analog horror or you know i don't have an idea of what i could make and it's hard to execute something to make you feel a certain way like scared tense so anyone who's making an analog horror i genuinely take my hat off to you my examples of a good analog horror are like Greylock, project britannica is another good one sometimes less is more and i don't know about you guys but i'm kind of getting fed up with the whole like listen this is an emergency broadcast like that voice like I realized in Mandela catalog, they, they kind of like uh, what Alex did at the start was the sa a similar thing. And that's when analog horror was popping off, right? But then he remastered it so that it was actually voiced by a voice actor. And I respect that because it like it makes it feel a lot more immersive, makes it a lot feel a lot more real. But I would say overall, I enjoyed it for sure. I enjoyed it. That was really good, Junes Media. Shoot. Just keep up the good work. But yeah, just the little criticisms were like the immersion of the voice acting and I don't know, the pacing, I guess. But the story, the premise of the whole thing was really good. It just, I feel, feel like it wasn't executed the way, it, like how it potentially could have been. But no, other than that, keep up the amazing work, Junes Media. Guys, go and give Junes Media your support. Their link will be in the description down below. Go subscribe, like, watch the videos for yourself. If you enjoyed my reaction video, why not leave a like rating down below? Subscribe, comment, tell me your favorite bit. Um, but yeah, this has been the video, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.